What's up, guys? It's Mr. Matil back at you again with another drawing video. Today we're drawing pumpkins because it is fall and it's my favorite season. The materials you're going to need for this project are pencils, color pencils, and paper. So we're going to get started here just by drawing the basic shape of the pumpkin. We're going to start with the stem, which is this part on top right here. So I'm going to draw this little shape that looks like this. And then I'm going to add some lines um, going through it to make it look more realistic because um, that's how a stem really sort of looks. Next, I'm going to add some lines on the outside that look like this, some curved lines that go from the top of the stem all the way down to the bottom. And this is going to help us define the shape of the pumpkin overall. Next, I'm going to add a few more curved lines like this to make the different sections of the pumpkin. Each pumpkin can be different and unique, so yours might look a little bit different than mine. Sometimes I like to add in some extra sections on the outside to make my pumpkin wider. If you do do that though, sometimes you might need to erase and just redraw some of those lines. Next, I'm gonna to start to draw in some of the leaves on the bottom. So these leaves are rounded, but then pointed at the end. And I'm just gonna make a bunch of leaves. There's not an exact number you need, but I'm just gonna add in some little stems on the leaves too. And we're gonna color these in later. So now is the fun part. We get to start coloring it in. I'm going to use my red first here, and I'm going to start on the bottom of my first section here, and I'm going to start really kind of dark with the red. And then as I work my way up to the middle of the section, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter and lighter as I get up. And that's going to create a really cool highlight for us later on. I'm going to go over it again. I'm going to get even darker now to really get that red to pop and really push that color value. Now I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to be really, really dark at first. And I'm sort of using a little circular motion when I'm blending in my colors. I like to do that. I like to tell my students it's like brushing your teeth. Go a little circle motions like that and it really helps blend in everything really well. So now I have that little highlight left there. I'm gonna do the same thing on this other section, but just a little bit faster so you can see the process again. Next, I'm gonna grab my orange, and now I'm gonna go over on top of the red with my orange, the same thing. Start off with darker on the bottom, work your way up to the middle, getting a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter. And then the same thing is going to happen on top. This is going to create another sort of highlight. And that really makes the orange pop by layering the red underneath of it. Makes it a lot more vibrant. Finally, I'm going to use my yellow. And I'm going to start off pretty dark with the yellow right off the bat, just because yellow is really sort of a light color. And putting that on top of the red and orange really makes that color pop and makes it look like a more realistic looking pumpkin. Green for the stem. You could do a brown stem too if you wanted. I like to do a little bit of green and maybe some black later on. For the leaves, you can just alternate between orange, red, and yellow and color those in however you'd like. Finally, I'm going to take my black colored pencil and I'm going to use that to outline all my different sections. Everywhere that I drew with the regular pencil, I'm just going to go over it with the black colored pencil. Again, really gets our project to pop, really makes it stand out, and I like the way that it looks. 
Eventually, it should look like this.